What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Wednesday, September 8th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top DFS picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a nine game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. I like you Darvish with a 3% pitching advantage over a low salary batting team, the Los Angeles Angels. You Darvish, he pitches his best ball versus righty batters, giving up a .639 OPS versus righties, and he's facing six righties tonight. Now the Angels have hit one of his last six pitches. That's a super small sample size, so let's throw that out. But the splits are good here. And you Darvish is 9,000 FanDuel salary, 300 more on DraftKings. Projected at 40.5 fantasy points here tonight. He has an ERA of 4.05. His record is 7-9 and nine on the season. Pitching an average of 92 pitches per game. Averaging 33 fantasy points per game, he scored 2, 24, and 5 fantasy points in the last 3 games. So I'm looking for you, Darvish, to climb out of that slump he's been in here tonight. So I like you, Darvish, here versus the Los Angeles Angels. Another pitcher I like is Frankie Montas. With a 6% pitching advantage over a low salary batting team, the Chicago White Sox. Frankie Montas, he pitches his best ball versus righty batters, only giving up a .632 OPS versus righties. He's facing five righties here tonight. And on top of that, the White Sox have only hit 10 of his last 44 pitches. That's a .227 batting average. He's 9,000 fan duel salary, the same price on DraftKings. Projected at 33.3 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 34 fantasy points per game on the season. He's been on fire, scoring 42, 49, and 52 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Frankie Montas here versus the Chicago White Sox. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I like Salvador Perez with a 7% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Matt Harvey. Salvador Perez is batting a .907 OPS versus righties. And Matt Harvey, he pitches his worst ball versus righty batters. 12% worse than his other pitches, giving up a 1.072 OPS versus righties. Salvador Perez is 4 for 13, batting a 308 batting average. Now he only has a .665 OPS versus Harvey, because all four of those hits were singles. But it's a pretty decent matchup, and I'm expecting him to slam one of these hits out of the park eventually. And Salvador Perez is 3,900 FanDuel salary. He's 2,100 more on DraftKings. Projected at 11.1 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 6, 10, and 29 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Salvador Perez here versus Matt Harvey. Okay, now I got a value play for you. I like Jan Gomes with a 28% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher. Dallas Keuchel. Yan Gomes, he's batting 24% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .912 OPS versus lefties. And Dallas Keuchel, he's giving up a .644 OPS versus righties. Now, I like this pick because Yan Gomes is 9 for 28. That's a 321 batting average and a .887 OPS versus Keuchel. 
He's only 2,600 FanDuel salary. He's 1,200 more on DraftKings. Projected at 9.1 fantasy points here tonight. Averaging 8 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 6, 0, and 0 fantasy points in his last 3 games. So I like Jan Gomes as a value play here versus Dallas Keuchel. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Marcus Simeon with a 20% batting advantage over Lewis Gill. Marcus Simeon, he's batting a .779 OPS versus righty pitchers. And Lewis Gill is giving up a .514 OPS versus righties. He pitches his worst ball versus righty batters, 21% worse than his other pitches. I think those OPS numbers are going to even out as he gets more pitches under his belt. I think they're going to come up as he gets more pitches under his belt. But there's no at-bats versus Gill yet. And Marcus Simeon is 4,400 FanDuel salary, 600 more on DraftKings. Projected at 10.9 fantasy points here tonight. Averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. And he's been on fire, scoring 28, 48, and 25 fantasy points in the last three games. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 10 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under. So I like Marcus Simeon here versus Lewis Gill. Okay, I also like Tria Turner batting against Adam Wainwright. So the splits aren't fantastic here, but the batter versus pitcher matchup is really good. So Tria Turner, he's batting a .857 OPS versus righties. And Adam Wainwright is giving up a .600 OPS versus righties. But the reason I like this pick is because Tria Turner is 7 for 15, batting a 467 batting average and a 1.067 OPS versus Wainwright. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary, 900 more on DraftKings, projected at 11.3 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 12 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 12, 9, and three fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Tria Turner here versus Adam Wainwright. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. I also like Josh Harrison with a 12% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Dallas Keuchel. Josh Harrison is batting 8% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .820 OPS versus lefties, and Dallas Keuchel is giving up a .644 OPS versus righties. Josh Harrison is 0 for 1 versus Keuchel, but he's only 2,900 FanDuel salary. He's 1,500 more on DraftKings. Projected at 8.8 .8 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 9 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 9, 0, and 9 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Josh Harrison here versus Dallas Keuchel. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Johan Moncada with a 30% batting advantage over Frankie Montas. Johan Moncada is batting 7% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .752 OPS versus righties. And Frankie Montas... He pitches his worst ball versus switch hitters. So you want to attack Frankie Montas with switch hitters because he pitches 23% worse to switch hitters as he does his other pitches. And he's giving up a .955 OPS versus switch hitters. Johan Moncada is 3 for 4, batting a 750 batting average, 
in a 1.550 OPS versus Montas. He's 3,400 FanDuel salary, 500 more on DraftKings, projected at 9.2 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 18, 0, and 3 fantasy points in his last three games. So I like Yoan Mancata here versus Frankie Montas. Okay, who do we have at the shortstop position? I like Alcides Escobar with a 5% batting advantage over Tuki Tucson. Alcides Escobar is batting 3% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .716 OPS versus righties, and Tuki Tucson He's giving up a .845 OPS versus righties. There's no at-bats versus Tucson yet. And Alcides Escobar is 3,200 FanDuel salary, 900 more on DraftKings, projected at 9.2 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 15, 18, and 12 fantasy points in his last three games. So I like Alcides Escobar here versus Tuki Tucson. Okay, now here's a value play. I like Nicky Lopez batting against a low salary pitcher, Matt Harvey. Nicky Lopez is batting 12% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .657 OPS versus righties. And Matt Harvey, he's giving up a .941 OPS versus lefties. Nicky Lopez is 2 for 5, batting 400 with a .800 OPS versus Harvey. He's only 2,800 FanDuel salary. He's 900 more on DraftKings. Projected at 10.5 fantasy points here tonight. Averaging 8 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 10, 3, and 21 fantasy points in his last 3 games. So I like Nicky Lopez as a value play here versus Matt Harvey. And you know what? It looks like Joey Wendell is also a pretty decent value play. Uh, he's going up. He's batting against Nathan Eovaldi. Now, Joey Wendell is batting 21% better versus righty pitchers. He's batting a .804 OPS versus righties. And although Nathan Eovaldi does pitch his best ball versus lefty batters, giving up a .620 OPS versus lefties. The reason I like this pick is because Joey Wendell is 6 for 14, batting a 429 batting average, and a 1.386 OPS versus Eovaldi. He's only 2,600 FanDuel salary. He's 1,100 more on DraftKings. Projected at 9.7 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 9 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored six, three, and six fantasy points in his last three games. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 9.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under. So I like Nathan, e uh, I like Joey Wendell here versus Nathan Eovaldi. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. This is my home run hitter pick. I like Juan Soto with a 4% batting advantage over Tuki Tucson. Juan Soto is batting a 1.096 OPS versus righty pitchers, and Tuki Tucson is giving up a .832 OPS versus lefties. Juan Soto is one for three with a 2.047 OPS versus Tucson because that one hit was for a home run. He's 4,300 FanDuel salary, 1,400 more on DraftKings, projected at 13.1 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 22, 7, and 13 fantasy points in his last three games. So I like Juan Soto here versus Tuki Tucson. I also like Christian Yellick with a 4% batting advantage over Kyle Gibson. Christian Yellick is batting a .734 OPS versus righty pitchers. And Kyle Gibson, he pitches his worst ball versus lefty batters. 19% worse than his other pitches. 
giving up a .854 OPS versus lefties. Christian Yelich is 1 for 5 versus Gibson, so not a fantastic start, but he's only 3,400 FanDuel salary. He's 900 more on DraftKings, projected at 12.4 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 22, 6, and 0 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Christian Yelich here versus Kyle Gibson. Okay, and if you're looking for a super value play, take a look at Edward Olivares with a 37% batting advantage over the low salary pitcher, Matt Harvey. Edward Olivares, he's batting 25% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .728 OPS versus righties. And Matt Harvey, he pitches his worst ball versus righty batters, giving up a 1.72 OPS versus righties. Now there's no at-bats versus Harvey yet, but Edward Olivares is only 2,000 FanDuel salary, 1,000 more on DraftKings, projected at 8.9 fantasy points here tonight, averaging seven fantasy points per game on the season. He scored six, zero, and six fantasy points in his last three games. So I like Edward Olivares as a value play here versus Matt Harvey. And I also like Ian Happ with a 17% batting advantage over Vladimir Gutierrez. Ian Happ is batting 14% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .820 OPS versus righties. And Vladimir Gutierrez, he pitches his worst ball versus switch hitters, giving up a .797 OPS versus switch hitters. Ian Happ is three for six, batting 500, with a 1.792 OPS versus Gutierrez. He's 3,300 FanDuel salary, only 600 more on DraftKings, projected at 13.1 fantasy points here tonight, averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season. And he's been on fire, scoring 25, 26, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Ian Happ, here versus Vladimir Gutierrez. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite play for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.